Hey, good morning, folks. It's Pastor George. It is Monday, June 1st, 2020, and I hope that you are having a blessed day. A little cooler here today, a little uh, little rain this morning, and a little bit of a breeze, but we're looking forward to a great day. Um, we are continuing in Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. He is. Uh, we are looking at Matthew chapter 7. We're almost towards the end of the, the Sermon on the Mount, and I hope it's been a blessing to you. I know that God's Word just really speaks to my heart always. And uh, today we are looking at uh, the subject that Jesus brings up is a warning to his disciples. We do not uh, judge one another, he, he says that, but we are to discern still uh, those that speak into our lives. And, and in verse um, 15 of Matthew 7, he says, Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly are ravenous wolves. You will recognize them by their fruits. Now, when we think of a false prophet, we often think of maybe a cult leader that comes in and leads people, someone like Jim Jones. Some, some may not realize Jim Jones was actually an Assemblies of God minister uh, when he, he started off, and the Assemblies of God did, uh, you know, uh, discredited him um, later in his ministry. Um, but he started out just like a, so many others, and, and he claimed to be a Christian, he claimed to be a follower of God, but then somewhere along the line, his true motives came clear. Now, now, when we think of false prophets, we may think of a cult leader or something like that, but that's not always the case. Uh, a false prophet are, uh, are those voices that are contrary to God, that are leading our spirit away, our heart away from a devotion to Christ. And these individuals may claim to be Christian, they may claim to be a pastor, they may claim to be a, an evangelist, but sometimes it's just those voices that come from other areas that are contrary to God. And we have to discern that. We have to guard our hearts against those voices because not everybody out there has our best interest, has, our, uh, has the heart and, and mind of Christ in, in speaking to us. Uh, Jesus said this, he said, I am the good shepherd and my sheep hear my voice and they follow me. I call them by name. And then he says, I, they will not follow the voice of a stranger. In fact, they run away from the stranger. And, and, and the reason for that is they are familiar with the shepherd's voice. And I, I read an article uh, a while back about how uh, people in the treasury department are are trained to spot counterfeit money. Well, the way that they are trained is not necessarily to study counterfeit money, but it is to so be, become so familiar with the true currency, the, the look, the feel, the way it is made, they are so familiar with it that they can spot a phony. Well, that's true for us as well. How do we recognize a false prophet? Well, the best way is this. We become so familiar with the voice of our good shepherd, Jesus. We become familiar with his voice. You see, even Jesus, or even Satan can quote scripture. And, and the Bible tells us that even those who are followers of Satan, or those who are under his influence, appear as angels of light, um, uh, as messengers of light, because Satan himself appeared as an angel of light. We don't want to just look at the outward appearance, how charismatic, how how influential this person is, how good he looks on television or something. It's, it's what is the fruit and how does it line up with the words of Jesus? We need to be cautious. And, and the folks, we need to recognize there are other voices out there, voices of the media, voices in politics, voices in, in the world right now that are t trying to influence each of us to go their way. And those voices are not always the voice of the Spirit leading us. Um, and while we respect our govern government authorities, while we try to trust our media, we know that there's sometimes there are other voices out there uh, speaking to us. The real question is this, is that voice leading us cr closer in our walk with Christ or away from it? Is it leading us to follow after um, uh, you know, other, other um, spirits or are they uh, making us sensitive to the Holy Spirit? So we need to guard our hearts. Be careful about who is speaking into your life. 
Father, today we need your discernment. We need to learn how to hear clearly the voice of God, the voice of the Spirit, the voice of Jesus. Because when we learn to hear your voice, then that voice of a stranger will become very clear to us. Lord, most of us will never probably be faced with following a cult leader, but there are other, other voices lead, uh, speaking into our ears, speaking into our hearts, that would try to lead us astray from following Christ. Lord, give us ears to hear what the Spirit says, and give us hearts that will follow after you. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, you folks, stay blessed today. You stay safe. Let's continue to pray for our nation, our country. A lot of turmoil going on, but we recognize this. Jesus uh, it was not caught off guard. Jesus is the answer. We're praying that his spirit, his peace, his presence will just manifest itself in these hot spots of violence and unrest right now and that 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 his truth will reign and his love will will have the victory over it all god bless you folks we are not powerless we are not alone god is on our side and if god is with us who can stand against us blessings today